Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Secrets Unsealed Some TV Report. We've got a very, very exciting program for you today. We've got something to talk to you about. We've got an announcement. We've got some future plans to talk to you about. There's a lot that's going to happen in the next few minutes, so we want you to draw close, listen attentively, because we've got a lot to share. My name is C.A. Murray, and I'm in the com company of our president and founder and director, Pastor Stephen Bohr. Pastor, good to be with you, it's as always. It's always. always good to be with you, CA. Yeah. You've got some great news to tell us about, and um, uh, we can't say it's a secret because it's right there <laughs> on the screen behind us. Well, it's been, it's been unsealed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well said. <laughs> Probably most of those who follow us remember the match that we had last year. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody offered to give us a million dollars if our donors matched an equal amount yes. from October 31st through December 31st. Mm -hmm. And praise the Lord, in two months, we were able to raise $1.3 million over and above the million that the donor offered to give us. Yes. Now we have a new offer for a match. Mm -hmm. As you can see on the screen, $250,000. If our donors match that amount he is going to donate two hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So mm -hmm. praise the Lord for that. Yeah, we we need to mention this is not money we went out looking for. This is someone whose heart was touched. The Lord moved on them to donate this money, and of course we gladly receive it in the name of the Lord. So, right, right. But what my, my 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 point is that this is not something we went looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, this was just a blessing of the Lord that came from His His gracious hand. Uh, and before we talk about this uh, anymore, there's a text that you and I have been talking about over the last, uh, you know, little bit uh, in Lamentations chapter 3 that deals with this kind of blessing from the Lord. So I want you to read that text, if you will, and then take a minute or so, a few minutes rather, and just sort of tie it together with this two $250,000 match uh, and that text, uh, how you see that in the, in the moving of the hand of God. You know, it's interesting, these two verses don't seem to fit with the book of Lamentations, yeah. because we're praising the Lord now, <laughs> we're not lamenting. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, it has a very important principle. Um, Lamentations 3, verse 22 says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Of mm -hmm. course, this is where the hymn gets its title. Yes. Uh, morning by morning, mm -hmm. new mercies, mercies I, see. I see. And so uh, we praise the Lord, CA, for the way that the Lord has led in this ministry. You know, in 20 years that we have been functioning, we have not incurred one penny of debt. We have always operated in the black. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and God is the one who has done this. You know, we don't do a strong push for funds. We don't send out a fundraising letter every month. Mm -hmm. We probably send out three or four in the year, but we don't make a strong push for funds. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, this individual called us yes. and offered to do the match without us contacting him. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'd like to just read a statement from the Spirit of Prophecy. This is volume six of the Testimonies, page 217. Ellen White, in the original context, is talking about our schools, administrating our schools properly so mm -hmm. that they don't incur debt. But I think by extension, every institution should function that way. Yes. She wrote this, men of financial ability should look over the accounts once, twice, or thrice a year to ascertain the true standing of the school and see that enormous expenses which will result in the accumulation of indebtedness do not exist. We should shun debt as we should shun the leprosy. Yes. And yeah. we took this seriously from the time that we started that we were not going to incur debt. And the Lord has provided marvelously this verse, these two verses from Lamentations chapter 3 definitely apply to what has happened at Secrets Unsealed. And we praise the Lord for it. Again, His mercies are new. Uh, we didn't go out looking for a blessing, but God had a blessing waiting for us. So His mercies are new every morning, and He is faithful. Uh, Amen. The idea of 
living your life, running your ministry, uh, call it what you will, without debt is, is very positive. It shows God's hand leading this ministry. This was not a ministry that someone got up one day and said, hey, let's start a ministry. Yeah. <laughs> this was something that God moved upon uh, you to do in consultation with other individuals. And of course, when God is in the, in the beginning, when it's God's program, when it's in God's platform, then he provides the finances Amen. to keep the ministry going. And this is just part of that. And we've definitely seen that the Lord is leading the ministry Amen. the way that it's grown phenomenally. Amen. You know, it's interesting in this statement, Ellen White uh, says that uh, you should have men of financial ability check the accounts once, twice, or thrice a year. <laughs> well, we have an accountant that checks our finances twice a week. Twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> a professional accountant. Yes. And uh, just to keep us on track to make sure that we're functioning in a fiscally f uh, responsible way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the things that we need to talk about and move in to is the fact that the ministry is continuing to grow. Uh, anything that is of the Lord does not stagnate or mm -hmm. become static. And this ministry, as a, a move in the hand of God, is mm -hmm. continuing to grow. We've added some new personnel since last we were here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some plans that we're going to talk about in just a few minutes uh, for expansion and growth. Um, let's talk about, first of all, uh, the new personnel. Okay. Uh, we've got three individuals um, that... Uh, are filling very vital roles here at uh, Secrets Unsealed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, we have Jeannie Wheaton. She uh, is working with prison ministries. We had a huge backlog of uh, sending materials to uh, inmates mm -hmm. in many different prisons. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we were praying to the Lord to find someone who would be willing to help us catch up. And praise the Lord, Jeannie has been here just a few months, but she has caught us up. We're up to date now. And we praise the Lord. Uh, then we have Gary, who is uh, our uh, graphic designer. Yes. And he's doing a phenomenal job. He's mm -hmm. working full time. And then we have Florina. She works in the call center, uh, you know, processing orders and taking phone calls and answering questions and mm -hmm. things like that. And uh, we need more personnel yeah. because we're growing so exponentially that uh, you can't really function efficiently without having the necessary and qualified personnel. Yeah, and that's, that's the, the, the thing, the, the idea that um, these are not wishless personnel. Mm -hmm. These are necessary personnel for the growth of the ministry. Each one is kept busy. Uh, as you said, the prison ministry has grown exponentially. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Jeannie does a fine job. And uh, I'm in the office with Gary, so I, I know his work. I know his ability. Uh, he's kept busy. And uh, Florina's kept busy. So these are people who are, fun are functioning well and filling a specific role that is very, very necessary to the growth of the ministry. And, you know, these three persons we were able to employ because of the match that we did last year. Yes. You know, we mentioned that we needed new personnel. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, praise the Lord, our supporters uh, said, you know, we believe in this. And so they much more than matched the million dollars that the donor offered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things we need to talk about, uh, my pastor, my friend, is the idea that we are outgrowing our facility. We are can we say bursting at the seams as it were? <laughs> and we have nowhere to go. We are in an industrial park, so we are surrounded by other buildings and uh, there's no room for expansion. Mm -hmm. And yet uh, our growth curve says it's time to do some expansion, to do some growing. You know, when we located here originally, we were on the outskirts, the southeast outskirts <laughs> of Fresno. Uh, yes. but. The growth in Fresno of housing has been exponential. Mm -hmm. You know, there's housing east of here. There's housing that surrounds us almost totally. Yes. And um, we believe uh, that the spirit of prophecy is leading us to relocate, mm -hmm. to relocate to a place in the country because uh, of several factors. First of all, uh, you know, there's been riots in some of the large cities. And um, we believe that uh, God wants us to relocate uh, so that we can escape all of the immorality and the corruption of the cities, as well as the possibility, because of the message that we proclaim, mm -hmm. that they would come and they would uh, cause problems. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to have to move uh, for a number of reasons. One, uh, as has been said, we're, we are surrounded by housing and housing uh, uh, tracks uh, all around us. There's simply no place to go and uh, we cannot move. Then 
we need to look to the future so that 10 years from now, we're not back here saying the same thing again. Right. This move needs to be forward thinking enough so that we, we, we are planning for the future. When we bought this, when I say we, uh, when the ministry bought this particular facility, it seemed big. <laughs> but as you well yeah. know, it ain't so big. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> we've, right. Out, we've outgrown it. Uh, even to the point of uh, the anchors class, which started in this studio, uh, you will recall. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it has grown even in this COVID year to the point where it has outgrown this particular studio. Yeah, that's true. You know, we added 2,000 square feet to the building mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago. And, um, you know, we ha we plan to build offices in half of that area that we added to the building. Mm -hmm. But even that's not going to be enough. Yeah. It's going to give us five offices. But we have individuals that are working four persons to an office, Very true. three persons to another office. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we really need to relocate so that... Uh, you know, we can accommodate everybody and they can work comfortably mm -hmm. uh, to do the work that they were called to do. Yeah. When we talk about some of the offerings that we do here at um, Secrets Unsealed, Anchors has grown, and we're going to show some video of that in just a little bit, some of the people that have come. Uh, then in the fall, you've got um, you've got the summit. Then there are, we do a, uh, uh, a weekly Sabbath service here. Mm -hmm. uh, on any number of programs. Yeah. So we are we are maxing out our facilities and, and we need to grow if we're going to keep pace with what God is, is calling us to do. Yeah, and the idea is to move out into the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been uh, praying fervently and we have also been searching. Yes. We've looked at multiple properties. Uh, you know, there's some of them that are 35, 40 minutes from here out in the country, beautiful places. And uh, we're praying to the Lord that the Lord will open the door where he would want us to relocate. Uh, you know, it's going to take uh, several, probably several years mm -hmm. to relocate because that's not something that happens overnight. Right. Uh, but we feel that the Lord is impressing us that at this time, we need to start the process of relocating because we simply cannot continue to operate here yeah. in this facility. Because and, of its location, mm -hmm. and also because we're we're stretched for space. For space, this also shows us, Pastor, how faithful God is. We we've been talking about and praying about uh, relocation. Well, um, I see this this extra half a million because <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm presupposing the other 250 is co amen. coming in as a good jump start on that particular move. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for some of the properties that would actually pay for half of the property, mm -hmm. half of the asking price. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, there's one property that has 435 acres, uh, beautiful flat land with trees and everything. We don't know if that's the one that God is leading us to. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're looking at all of the possibilities and then we're asking the Lord to open the door where he wants us to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we praise the Lord for that. One of the things that excites me is that um, uh, knowing what property sells for, what housing sells for here in this in this market. You're in California and you're in a, a burgeoning market in California mm -hmm. because so many people are moving in to get that much money, that much acreage for the price that they're asking us is, to my mind, uh, a blessing of the Lord also. That, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, of course, the properties near Fresno and Clovis are very, very expensive. Yes. The further you go out, mm -hmm. the less expensive they are. Yes. But uh, I know that the way things are growing here, that uh, eventually... Uh, you know, things are going to be very expensive where we're looking at also. Yes, yes. So we want to move now. <laughs> <laughs> and we praise the Lord for that. Pastor, I want to go to some video before we go to our, our, uh, our, our testimonies, because we, we've got some great testimonies uh, that talk about the expansion of the ministry and how the ministry is growing uh, in the context that it's making, not only in the United States, but worldwide. I mean, Malaysia and Indonesia and London mm -hmm. and, and Australia. Uh, uh, beautiful calls uh, and beautiful letters and beautiful testimonies from all of these places. But we want to take a look at some of the people who attended our last Anchors uh, series held just last month. Uh -huh. In the middle of a pandemic, when a lot of people are not traveling and uh, a lot of things are not happening, um, we had the largest group of people that we've ever had for an Anchors. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, if I could just... Uh 
read a statement from Ellen White on what has motivated us to look for a property in the country. Oh, yes. Uh, before I deal with that. Mm -hmm. uh, volume 2, Selected Messages, 357. She wrote, as far as possible, our institutions should be located away from the cities. Yes. We must have workers for these institutions. And if they, that is the institutions, are located in the city, that means that families of our people must settle near them. But it is not God's will that his people shall settle in the cities where there is constant turmoil and confusion. Yeah. Boy, have we ever seen that mm -hmm. in, in the last couple of years. Very much so. Uh, so, so as far as Anchor is concerned, uh, this studio fits 47 people. Mm -hmm. And we've had uh, approximately that number or maybe a little less in the several anchors that we've done. This year, in the year of a pandemic, we had about 80 individuals that actually registered. Mm -hmm. 22 of them were remote and the rest were in person. And um, we could have never had it here in the studio. Right. Because we can only fit uh, 47 people. And that's pretty much tight body to body. Oh, yeah, body yeah. to body. Yeah. And we couldn't fit anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire marshal wouldn't let us. <laughs> <laughs> but so we had to, to have the anchor this year at Fresno Central Seventh Day Adventist Church. Mm -hmm. This shows the urgency of having a facility which is larger where we can do a broader work and do it more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Uh, so our anchor school is doing well. You know, we have so many programs. We have our summit. We have I'd Like to Know. We broadcast Sabbath school and worship service. Uh, we have uh, all of our study notes. Uh, mm -hmm. You have DVDs, our television station. I mean, it's dizzying when you really think about mm -hmm. how the Lord has led us into so many paths. Yes, yes, yes. Each one growing, each one successful under his tutelage, under his guidance. So we know it's the work of God. You know, Psalms 118, I think it's 22 or 20, he says this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous Amen. in our eyes. When you sit back and just see what God is doing, uh, using humble human instruments to join hands with him and then to give success for your labors. These, Amen. these testimonies say that hearts are being touched, souls are being reached, and lives are being changed. And that, of course, is credit to the Lord that we serve. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Only yeah. to Him. Only to Him. <laughs> We're going to take a look at some videos now from this year's Anchors broadcast, uh, Anchors, Anchors Seminar, and um, we recorded several, we, oh, about 20% of the people that came, we recorded videos from them. Each of them has something very positive to say, uh, but it shows you the kind of spirit that is engendered and why we need bigger, bigger facilities because one, we will never get smaller. We're only gonna get bigger uh, because those who have come are bringing other individuals. So it bespeaks a move to the country to get bigger facilities so we can do the work of the Lord. Amen. Anchor experience is important to me because it gives us an opportunity, gives me an opportunity to be able to study without being disturbed with all the distractions that I have at home. When I'm here, I can dedicate all of my time and my focus on to studying the Bible. Because of Anchor's commitment to studying everything from the Bible, it's always attractive when you can present truth and share truth and explain it when you're getting it directly from the Bible. And this is uh, one of the only places I've ever been able to go where we can do that, where I can do that. This is my sixth year coming here. The first year I was by myself, told people about it back home and encouraged friends to meet up with me. Uh, the second year we had three people the third year, we had six people. Fourth year, 10. Uh, the fifth year, we had about 13 people. And this year, we have 15 people that are coming with us. And I truly believe, had it not been for COVID, we probably would have had over 20 people come and join us here for this study. Well, it is it's so it is so fun to be here at, at Anchor because you have people from all different walks of life. You have people that have um, uh, that have had many different experiences. You have young people and, and older people, and uh, but they all have the same thing in common. They all 
uh, love God and they all want to study his word and they're all excited about the prophecies. And we, we just bond together. And uh, you'd think that after a day of classes, we'd be, we'd be through, we'd be exhausted. But we even get together in the evening and, and study more and um, just have a, a wonderful time together learning about Jesus and, and drawing closer to each other and to him. Yes, I do believe Pastor Bohr is an exceptional teacher of the Word of God and the Spirit of Prophecy, and it has profoundly impacted me. I met him a few weeks ago at the Amazing Facts uh, seminar that was done recently, and I told him so. I said, I've never heard anybody put together the Spirit of Prophecy in the Bible like you do, and what it has done is it's caused me to want to come back for more and more to listen to how God is revealing truth to him so that I can take it in. And, you know, I believe the Holy Spirit works inside of each and every one of us when we're seeking truth. And um, it helps me to go ahead and share that with others. If you're looking to come to an anchor class or if you're on the fence about, hey, should I go or not go? Um, Get a group of friends together, um, a family member, and don't go alone. Take somebody, make it a, an event that you um, want to be able to study with, somebody that you can go home with and enjoy and, and bond with over this experience. I mean, individually, we need to learn on our own, but it's always nice when you have someone alongside of you. And I think the biggest blessing for me was honestly having my aunt here with me. And she, I don't want to cry. She's been such a big blessing to me this past year. So I think if you're on the fence about coming, I think you just do it. What's, what's, you know, you're obviously it's in your mind to, to do this and to be here and um, you'll get more out of it than you thought. Pastor, those make you feel so good. Uh, and each Amen. one of those individuals has said, we're coming back. And we're going to bring other individuals with us. Amen. So we're growing. The ministry is growing. And whenever you lift up the name of Jesus, Christ has said, I will, I will bring all men unto me. Amen. So this is what should be expected when you preach Christ, when you lift up Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, it's interesting that we had people from 15 different states uh, that actually came. And we had five that registered from other countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's international, not only within the confines of the United States. Yeah, praise God, praise God for the growth. Um, we've got some testimonies, and this is one that is addressed to you that uh, I am very happy to read because it's just a good letter. It's a, it, it's a good testimony. Thank you so much for taking the time to help me. I want to get right to this because our time is getting away from us. I owe you a lot. Uh, you were an instrument in my life. Almost 25 years ago, I saw one of your video, videos, Cracking of the Genesis Code. That video has gone around the world. Mm -hmm. That's been one of the most powerful tools in the hand of God. Uh, I'm going to skip some. He is writing from Peru, South America, um, where at the time I was not... Uh, in use of technology, you know, there was not a lot of things going on in this country. I'm trying to, to um, paraphrase a lot of this. Um, you do not know the joy that my brother and I had when we discovered uh, your response. Evidently, they wrote you and you took the time to respond to them. And we praise the Lord for that. And that sort of clicked something in their heart and in their lives. Um, you showed us a heart willing to support and contribute by sending us the whole collection. Well, praise the Lord, Pastor, <laughs> <laughs> for doing that. Free of charge. Free of, free of charge. He says that. You sent the whole collection for free. Since that day, we have not stopped sharing what you taught us through those videos. Today, by the grace of God, I am a pastor uh, in one district here in Peru, Peru. And despite the many changes that the church undergoes, I remain firm and faithful to the three angels message. That's good stuff. Thank you again for everything you gave me and have contributed to my life. If I cannot see you on this earth, I know that it will be a uh, will be in the heavenly homeland uh, to give you a hug and gratitude for what God has done through you uh, to my life. Uh, this is the most difficult uh, time, but um, we thank the Lord. He and his brother, uh, they have lost their father, but they are praising God. And he wants to thank you, Pastor, uh, and mentor for my journey. I keep praying for you and your family. And he closes with the word hugs. 
Amen. Beautiful letter. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful letter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I have some prison ministries um, letters as well. I'll just read uh, little clips from the, some of these letters. Uh, we are presently serving over 4,000 inmates in many prisons in the United States. And uh, the letters that we get are heart-wrenching, and we even get donations. You know, the guys in prison don't make very much money, but they send us uh, money to help with the ministry, mm -hmm. even though uh, they don't receive much remuneration in prison. Um, here's uh, what one of them wrote. I want to thank you for your ministry and all that you do for prisoners such as myself. I have been blessed tremendously through the many resources that I have received from Pastor Bohr's study, study notes, to the Remnant Study Bible that you so kindly sent. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another one. Your worthy viewer fund for prisoners is something I'm truly thankful for. I read and diligently study all, and all is underlined, all <laughs> things you send to me. Uh, here's another one. I want to thank you for cracking the Genesis Code. Bible study, notes by Stephen Bohr. I learned a lot. Thank you for opening my eyes to the truth in the scriptures. Amen. Those are only three of the many testimonies that we get from inmates. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's one of the passions that we have is to share with inmates. Our Worthy Viewer Fund is uh, a fund that people can donate to so that we can send materials to the inmates free of charge. Mm -hmm. We send them Bibles, we send them study notes. Um, I think we send them DVDs as well, as far as the prisons allow it. And you know, we're doing what Jesus said that we're supposed to do. I was in prison yes. and you visited me. So that's one of the very important aspects of outreach of our ministry. Mm -hmm. So when we ask for your help, uh, you can see where your help is going. The ministry is expanding, lives are being changed, souls are being reached for eternity, and the kingdom of God is being advanced. We have $250,000 that have been promised to us. Should we be able to match that $250,000 with $250,000? So we need your help. We need your pledge. We need your donation. You can call. You can write. You can email. You can contact this ministry. We'll put the information on the screen. You can contact us and make this wish a reality to the honor and glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We know you're going to do it. We've done it before. We can do it again. We know that God wants this to happen because God wants to come quickly and take his children home. And we, more than anything, want to go home with him. So keep this in mind. Keep this in heart. Pray about what the Lord would have you to do to help us match this $250,000. And God will be blessed and his kingdom will be advanced. God bless you. Ellen White makes a very important statement, a very sobering statement in the book Evangelism. She says that at times, the burden for souls has rested upon me so heavily that I thought I would die. Now I've had the privilege of preaching the gospel pretty much across the globe, as far as Australia, the Philippines, Russia, Romania, London, Africa, North and South America, Central America, Inter-America, Canada. I've had that privilege and each of those meetings has been occasioned by my burden for souls. But I've never felt that I was going to die if I didn't hold those meetings. So I'm questioning my own loyalty to the cause of Christ and I'm asking you to do the same. How much do you love the work of God? How strong is your burden for souls? If you want to see the work of God promoted and you want to have Christ come into all the world and you want his people to be warned, then I'm asking you to join us in the $250,000 matching grant. You can call us at 559-264-2300 or you can go to our website and donate there. There are many other ways, you see them on the screen, that you can donate and become part of this wonderful, wonderful program. How much do you love souls? Your actions will tell.
And we are back. We hope that you were with us for the first part of this program. If you were, then you know that we have been talking about the $250,000 match uh, that has been very generously given to us. And, and, and Pastor, uh, before we go to the text that you have, our donors have been very, very faithful. One of the things that I became impressed with when I came to Secrets is that the, the donor base for this ministry is very, very faithful. They are very, very invested in what this ministry seeks to do in equipping the saints of God for service. And uh, they're loyal and they respond wonderfully. Amen. Amen. I think that uh, they really believe in what we're doing. Yeah. And they see the results of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, they're willing to invest in this God's ministry. Yes, 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 yes. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the results in just a little Amen. bit. But you've got a text that uh, uh, you want to take a look at. Yeah, this text that I'm going to read applies directly to the way the Lord has worked with this ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very well-known uh, verse. Actually, I'm going to read two from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Yes. According to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It encapsulates the way the Lord has worked in a powerful way with Secrets Unsealed. The way that we have grown is absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Lord has really been responsible for and at the, the very basis of the growth of this ministry. And, and as ministries grow, go, you're not that old. Secrets is not that old. It's, it's not a new kid on the block, but it's not as old as some ministries, but it has grown very far. And the, the footprint, if I can use that term, uh, has spread around the world. Some of the things we're going to read about in a little bit are testimonies that have come in from far outside mm -hmm. of North America. So God is really using this ministry to touch lives around the globe. We're still teenagers. We're 19. <laughs> <laughs> well said. We are teenagers indeed. Indeed, there are some that are a lot older than we are. Yes. But God is using uh, ministries uh, like Secrets Unsealed to do a marvelous work for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are very, very pleased. Uh, exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask or think. So we can ask, and God has even more than that in store for, uh, for his church Amen. and his people. Amen. We've Let, seen it. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, let's walk through this $250,000 match. Uh, uh, sort of walk us through that, Pastor, if you will. Okay, just a little bit of review. Mm -hmm. Last year, on October 31st, we also had an offer of a million dollar match. Yes. And uh, the idea was to raise between October 31st and December 31st $1 million to match the million that the donor offered. Yes. And praise the Lord, in two months we were able to raise $1.3 million over and above the million that the donor offered to give. Mm -hmm. uh, this time we have another donor that has offered to give us $250,000 if we are able to raise an equal amount from our donors, just yes. like we did with the million dollar match. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the challenge that we have right at this point. Yeah, that's why we're here sharing our burden with you because we need to match this 250,000, there it is, uh, with 250,000 uh, giving us a cool half a million dollars. Amen. And uh, one of the things we wanna talk about because you reminded me not to forget this, some of the things that we, we, we were able to purchase uh, through our last uh, matching campaign, one of the things is something that I was, I've been calling for since I got here, and that's for new lights in yes, the studio, amen. and the lights are here. <laughs> <laughs> Let there be light. Let there be light, uh, and we praise the Lord. But yes. in, any number of things have happened um, that have bespoken the growth that yeah. has happened through the, the wonderful donations of our viewers and listeners. Yeah, you know, we've added two persons uh, actually, three persons we've added, mm -hmm. uh, Jeannie Wheaton, and uh, we've added also um, Gary, Gary Will. as our graphic designer, uh -huh. and uh, we've added Florina in yes. the call center, Yes, all because of the match that we did 
in those two months last year. And we praise the Lord. Three wonderful people uh, who are doing a, a fabulous job who fit in nicely. You know, you Amen. like to have people who come in and they just kind of blend in with the flow and uh, doing a great work for the Lord. Particularly Amen. Jeannie is doing a great work with the prison ministry. Uh, we saw some of the letters in our first hour, our first half hour rather. Uh, so we're happy for that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, we also were able to raise enough money to build five adjoining offices because we totally run out of space. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have uh, one room where we have four and sometimes five individuals doing post-production editing, and yeah. it's a very small room. Mm -hmm. And so a part of the money that we raised is to build on some offices uh, until we are able to move, be, yes. which is which we talked about in the first segment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I really just want to just want to touch on that for a second, Pastor, because we ultimately have to make some long-term hard decisions so that 10, 15 years from now, should the Lord delay us coming, we're not here again talking about moving. But right. we need to do it once and for all and move to a big enough property, uh, a place that is far enough outside of the, the bounds of the city to allow us to flex uh, our spiritual muscles and do what we need to do. Amen. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's in harmony with what the spirit of prophecy tells us we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, she stated in more, more than once in her writings that uh, our institution should not be located in the cities, mm -hmm. uh, mainly for health reasons and also for the increase in crime, riots, and things like that, like we've seen recently. Mm -hmm. And so it's much better to be in a country environment where we can work without uh, the interference of all of these problems that the cities have. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't move or expand now, even if we wanted to, because there's just no place to expand. Right. We're in an industrial park surrounded by scores of businesses and everybody's got their building and we, yeah. <laughs> and we can't we can't move right and as we mentioned in the first segment mm -hmm. you know our studio we can't use it anymore for our anchor class yes because uh, it seats 47 mm -hmm. according to the fire marshal and uh, <laughs> we don't want to go beyond that uh, true. and uh, the people that attended the last anchor at Fresno Central Church were 62 in yeah. person. Yeah. So, and we're going to expand and grow yes. because they were enthused and they're going to invite other people. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that's part of our growing pains. Yeah. Anchors increased by about a third in a COVID year when people weren't traveling, weren't going anywhere, uh, going anywhere, and we increased by a third. So we can never really come back here. Amen. It's just not feasible. Right. Uh, and some of the videos we're going to show in just a little bit are uh, testimonies from people uh, from the anchors uh, who came, and their enthusiasm says to me that we're going to not only come back ourselves, we're going to bring other people with Amen. us. So it's not going to shrink down. It's going to expand. It's going to grow. Amen. Yeah. I have no doubts that that's going to be the case. We've seen the Lord work in the past. Mm -hmm. And we don't have anything to fear of the future, Amen. according to the spirit of prophecy. Amen. You know, we could describe the step-by-step -step process of the building of Secrets Unsealed. Mm -hmm. It's nothing short of miraculous. Amen. I can't explain it, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but it's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you were mentioning to me, uh, and, and of course I've been on the boards of ministries, was that 3ABN for a while. Most ministries experience a significant dip in the summertime. It's, it's expected. Uh, Secrets doesn't have that big dip in the summertime. Uh, the giving pattern seems to hold through the year, and all we can do is thank the Lord and thank those of you who give uh, to the ministry so consistently that we don't get that dip. Well, this Amen. summer, we're right in the middle of the summer, uh, we need a big uh, <laughs> leg up, hand up uh, to match this $250,000. And I, I'm quite sure that it's going to happen. Oh, I'm positive. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord has led in the past. And, you know, every, every step God has intervened. So Amen. I don't have any doubts that he's going to intervene at Amen. this time Amen. through our generous donors who believe in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this, again, it bespeaks growth. And it's not particularly a credit to us. I mean, we're, we're, we're called to man the battlements, but it's a testimony to the power of God to touch Amen. hearts and change lives. Amen. And when you are doing the will of the Lord, Success, as you well know, is guaranteed. It's not, right. a, it's not an if game. It's not a, a, a game of chance. If you're doing the will of, the, of God, God guarantees this. this Amen. Success. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. I think we have some testimonies that we want to read. Indeed we do. Uh, for, just for a few moments here. Um, we received these from international sources. 
Do you want to read the first one? All right. This this one actually is from I think one of the only ones that is sort of local. This was a person, another person who attended the um, uh, the anchors. Um, Good evening, Pastor Bohr and team. Um, you asked what could be done to improve the next class, and my answer is nothing. <laughs> so we praise the Lord for that. The air conditioner was working just fine on Sabbath prior to the class starting. This, of course, is the anchors class. Yeah. And uh, we started on Monday morning, Sabbath afternoon, Sabbath during church service, everything was fine. Between Sabbath and Monday, the air conditioning went out. <laughs> so I'm sure that it was the enemy trying to get us all to leave. As hot as it was, I wouldn't have wanted to be in any other place. What a blessing for the Lord to bring his children together from all over the U.S. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to stay uh, to the end of the class. You had to duck out uh, just for the end because uh, I had to pick up my grandchildren. And, and I totally agree. Uh, I truly miss everyone. Uh, we talked with one another as though we had been friends forever. What a privilege and an honor. Pastor Boy, I'm so thankful the way the Lord uses you to explain his word. May the Lord continue, pro continue to bless, protect, and keep you and your family safe and in his good health. Amen. This is from Cheryl. So we praise the Lord for that. It was hot that first day. It was. But it was only hot one day. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a lot hotter was for the speaker. Yes, indeed. Yeah, because yeah, you were doing the work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we have time just for maybe one more. Mm -hmm. uh, the ministry is a blessing and almost unique, as far as myself and many others are concerned, in terms of providing the platform to teach people how to wrestle with Scripture and study the deeper things of God. Without God's guidance towards Pastor Bohr and Secrets Unsealed, via 3ABN Proclaim, initially around the year 212, 2012, I would never have left Roman Catholicism. You bring so much light to the scriptures and empower me to empower others on how to start deeply studying the Bible themselves, Amen. which grow this movement of believers and finish the work. Thanks be to God for this ministry, for times such as this. This one is uh, sent by somebody in London. Amen. Praise the, the Lord. Okay. I'm going to just paraphrase a lot of this. This is from a group called Loud Voice. They are from Malaysia, and they are a group of young Malaysians with an ardent desire to work for Christ, which has done so much for us. So this is from Malaysia. They want to be able to reproduce. Uh, Timothy is the, the young man's name. They want to be able to reproduce your materials and stream some of the stuff out to their fellows in Malaysia. So we are hearing from Malaysia and uh, a great work is being done there. You know, we get lots of requests to um, rebroadcast our materials mm -hmm. on smaller ministries in different places. Mm -hmm. And we say, you know, go for it. Mm -hmm. The more mm -hmm. places, the better it is. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have one here from Gurun Baturante. He's uh, from Indonesia. Uh -huh. And um, he says he ran away from Jesus uh, 20 years ago. Uh, he ended up in prison, then was released from prison. And now he states that he's using the series on the seven churches of Revelation 2 and 3 in witnessing. And um, he says, I can't tell you how happy uh, it makes me as a lay person to do such a great work for God. Please pray for me to straighten my faith. I really look, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in heaven. Uh, I want to thank my mentor in Jesus, Pastor Bohr and Pastor Finley, in person to make my spiritual life growing up in Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, Pastor Finley is not part of Secrets Unsealed, but evidently he's been watching Elder Finley, yes. uh, who has vast experience and has done a tremendous work for the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen, amen. And we praise the Lord for it. Amen. Uh, our time is getting away from us. Do you want to do a couple of things as we set up these videos? These videos uh, are, are going to be um, uh, testimonies from, again, from the Anchors class which is growing and growing and growing. But this time we've got some young people. We've got a 14-year-old young man. So um, the ministry is reaching all ages, a 24-year-old uh, young man, and then a young couple uh, from, um, from Denver, uh, the Wakefields, um, uh, Paul and Savannah. So we're going to listen to them uh, and listen to the enthusiasm of these young people, uh, this group here uh, from Malaysia. Again, young people. So we are reaching pastor, young and old, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then we'll come back and we'll wrap it up and, and close out the program. Good. Uh, these, you'll enjoy these videos. This is good stuff. My name is Alexan Yamwaya. I'm from Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I first heard about Secrets Unsealed in the year of 2018. 
when my dad would send me uh, Pastor Bohr's uh, uh, sermons and uh, different series. What I thought about the messages that my dad would send me regarding Pastor Bohr's uh, messages and series is that they were very logical, they made sense, and I could open the Bible and uh, follow it without having any guesses or leaving anything to conjecture. And it was very helpful to uh, understanding the Word of God. As a young person, this Anchor series has affected my life uh, in a very positive way because I can know that Jesus is coming back very quickly. Um, and it affects the way I plan out my life. Uh, being young, I'm 24, and there's many things to think about when uh, for my future. And having known that the scriptures are very clear, uh, regarding the end times and the coming of Jesus, it has given me a lot to think about as far as what uh, the rest of my life should, uh, the work of my life should be. It is known that Pastor Bohr is a good teacher and uh, watching his sermons online, I did uh, experience that. But being in person has uh, amplified that much more uh, because of the question and answer session uh, because of how he references the Bible in all of his answers, uh, I am confident uh, in knowing that when I do ask a question or if I do spend money to come here, that I will not be getting um, someone's personal opinions, uh, but I will be getting uh, the truth and and uh, as it is from the Bible. Uh, so learning from Pastor Bohr uh, is very good because all of his answers come from the Bible, and he does a good job of referencing that, which gives me good confidence that uh, I can spend the money and come here and take the time out of my life, and it would be profitable. My Christian experience before Anchor was lukewarm, uh, self-admittedly. Um, I do believe in the Word of God. I do believe that Jesus is coming back. Um, I do believe it, but the problem happens when you don't study the Word in depth. You don't get inspired and you don't understand the timelines you don't and not you but i don't understand i didn't understand the timelines before i didn't understand um the special resurrection you know the plagues um all these things that are really vital that are unique to adventism i did not understand them at all i just understood you know jesus does love me and um, that sort of thing but anything that came to the unique uh, beliefs of an Adventist, like the investigative judgment, I, I did not know. Having come to Secrets Unsealed and spending so much time in the anchor classes uh, and really just spending time in the, in the, in the Word all, the, all week, all day uh, for the duration of the stay, it really d does fill up the cup uh, of faith uh, and, uh, and encouragement, uh, so much so that there's too much in my cup that I must give to others so I can get more in my cup. What I would tell other young people like me, even younger, um, regarding the value of the, the anchor classes of theology is, is one thing and it's very simple. You know, as we grow up uh, out of the care of our parents, we have to make decisions about what we believe. And oftentimes those uh, can be many things. And uh, as Adventists and Christians, uh, the biggest one is, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he's coming back? Are you, do you believe in this kind of thing? And coming to, uh, or not just coming to anchor, but it is in order to make the best decision you can, it's vital that you receive the information in a very pure manner so that you are able to make the most educated decision on whether this is something you want to believe in, or perhaps there's something different that is a lot better out there. So what I would tell um, other young people like me is if you're in a, in a phase in your life where you're having doubts about the word of God, uh, you feel like you don't understand what is being taught at your church, or it's not uh, these heavy concepts of what Adventists uniquely believe. You feel like you haven't connected with that throughout your Christian walk um, as, a, as a kid and uh, a young adult in the faith. This is a great opportunity to be able to come and spend the time and dedicate just one week to, to understand this. Because if Jesus is coming back, which I think he is, and 
uh, sooner than later, um, then you don't want to end up in the lake of fire when you don't when you have an option otherwise. So it's of vital importance that young people understand and and get the unadulterated truth, so that decisions aren't made in haste towards one philosophy or the other. That you have a fully composite picture of what you're getting into, what you believe, and uh, what you could possibly do with it. My name is Hayden Ramos, and I'm from Signal Mountain, Tennessee. It's next to Chattanooga. I'm 14 years old, and this is, I think my first, this is my first time coming to an anchor seminar. So one day my mom was talking to me about the anchor seminars, and I just heard Christian and seminar in the same sentence, and I was in. I said, Mom, we're going. She was considering it, but I, I made sure that we were going. I want to say that a lot of people my age would want to come to something like this. You know, I have a best friend that I know would, but a lot of other people probably wouldn't. Even for someone my age, um, Anchor would be very useful and illuminating to what the Bible has to offer. And I'm excited for it. I hope other people are excited for it. I, it's something that I think is at least worth trying. Hi, my name is Paul Wakefield, and I am from Deer Trail, Colorado. I have been in the Adventist church since I was born. My parents raised me in the church. I first heard about Secrets Unsealed first on online media, on YouTube and Facebook. I would see Pastor Boar's sermons and whatnot. Um, that, that was really the first place I heard about Secrets, um, and then I heard a lot more about it from uh, my friend Ben. I first heard about the Anchor School from Ben. Um, he had been coming to these classes for like the past five years or so. Um, so I really first heard about the Anchor classes from him. If you are considering coming to the Anchor class, I would tell somebody, do it. Whatever the cost, whatever the time, you cannot put a dollar sign on God's Word. Learning this information, no matter where you are in your walk, will help you to grow that much closer to Christ. And that is ultimately what we, we need to be focusing on, is having that relationship with Christ. Because we all want to get to heaven. So being able to come here and just get to spend that time studying, most people struggle finding the time to study. So make that time just, it's, it's so worth it. Do it. My name is Savannah Wakefield, and I'm from Deer Trail, Colorado. I first heard of Secrets Unsealed as a ministry, honestly, from searching on YouTube. And then we had a member of our church who was doing studies from Anchor School of Theology, which really caught my interest. The thing that I love most about Anchor School of Theology is that it is Bible-based truth. You don't have any fluff. You don't have any of the extras that so often we're giving to make it more appetizing to the world. Here we are just learning about what the Bible says and the truth that the Bible has to say. So Anchor School of Theology has given me so many tools to be able to go back and teach others. We have a ministry at our church called Adventist Revival Ministries, and we plan on using this information that we have received here and then teaching others through our ministries and being able to collaborate and point people to this great resource to learn the truth. So this study that we're having here on the close of probation to the coming of Christ has really impacted me in a way that I did not expect. There's so much information packed into this little part of the end of the Bible that needs to be expounded on. And it's just brought me closer to Christ and realizing what he sacrifice for all of us and what he's willing to do to come back for us to get us to get his bride. Anchor School of Theology is an amazing resource for anyone, anyone who is questioning 
what is this whole Bible thing about? There's so often times that we think that there, there's something that we're missing. And this here gives you the tools and the resources and makes it so easy to be able to understand this thing that's called the Bible. You hear about it in churches today. You hear politicians talking about it today. And it's so often misused and misquoted in what it should be pointing you towards. And the love of Christ is an amazing thing. And here we're able to learn about what it's really for. You see the excitement of the young people. Um, uh, the one young man, he was a little nervous, 14 years of old, of age. And, and he, he made a point to me to tell me when we heard about anchors, I was the one that pushed my mother to come. A 14 year old, I, I made sure that yeah. we, and he said in the video, I made sure. Uh, and then we had uh, uh, other individuals. So this is not just a, 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 a senior kind of a thing. Young people are involved Amen. and young people are being excited about the gospel. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know, we want to reach all age groups, yes. all ethnic groups, mm -hmm. all nations. Yes. Jesus said, go and teach all nations, Amen. right? Amen. So that's our mission is to share the three angels message mm -hmm. with the entire world. Mm -hmm. And we praise the Lord for it. Our time is getting away from us. We've got about two minutes. Again, $250,000 is on the table and we need to match it. And uh, I believe by the grace of God, Pastor, we will match it. And uh, this is kind of a, a little jump start. We've been looking at some property. We've seen some property. We don't, we don't have any bids in on anything just yet. But uh, it kind of lets us know that this is in God's will for Secrets Unsealed and some TV. Yeah, we've been praying for several months now. And we've looked at multiple properties that are not so far away from the city that we can't witness to the city. Mm -hmm. And yet they're away from the hustle and bustle and the problems that exist in the cities. Yes, yes. And uh, we still don't have a specific property that we've chosen, but uh, we know that God is going to lead us to go in through mm -hmm. the door that he opens for us. Yes, there are some very intriguing possibilities, uh, but uh, we're waiting on the Lord to, to show us which one. Amen. Just very quickly, we're down to our last minute. Uh, one of the great blessings for Secrets Unsealed is some TV. Uh, and so much of what we see here, the panels, the other things that are happening, are blessings uh, from the giving of our, of our viewers and, and, and listeners. So we are thankful for that also. Amen. Yeah, yeah, some TV has taken us to the next level. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, originally we just broadcast on 3ABN. Yes. Uh, but now we have our own television channel, internet television channel, and the ministry has exploded since mm -hmm. then. It's mm -hmm. grown phenomenally worldwide. Yes. And so we praise the Lord for Sump TV and for Secrets Unsealed. And uh, it's a delight to work here. And we hope and pray that uh, those who are supporters will uh, be impressed by the Lord to match these $250,000 that this donor has offered as long as our donors offer an equal or greater amount. Amen. Our time is, is getting away from us. Help us out. Call us. Write us. Carry your pigeon if you must. But uh, we need to get this $250,000 in. We trust that God will bless you to bless us. And together, we will continue the work of the Lord. Bye-bye. And God bless. <laughs>